Hi, hello, it's me. Um, it's like 10.15, and today we're not going on the beach. We're gonna go do something else because we're all really sunburnt. And I think the boys are kind of sick of the beach. Personally, the beach isn't my favorite thing ever, so I'm a little tired of the beach. But like, we're gonna take a break for it from it for like a day. Everything's gonna be great, hopefully. I don't know what we're gonna do yet. We might see Toy Story 4, so. I guess we'll find out. Hello, we are at the mall. Mall. So, it's the Oglethorpe Mall in Savannah. Um, so, taking a break from the sun because we're all sunburnt. So, yeah. Interesting food court. This place is bougie. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'm really tempted to buy this Zan shirt, but it's like $20, so. There's people dressed up like Lolita girls. I don't really know what's going on. I ended up buying two Van shirts. Oops. LOL. Important updates are pending. Also, I Googled it, and Google says it's not pretzel day. But we got pretzels for $1.50, so... See? Do you see them? People dressed up like Lolita Girl. Got the Auntie Anne's boys. Parker. 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 Hey, Parker. Turn around! <laughs> Parker's been wanting to ride the escalator since we got here. Ooh, it's hot. A big hot. We at the Red Ball store. Do you know what I mean? The Red Ball store? The Red Ball store? Target? It is Wednesday, my dudes. Ah. We're back at the condo and we're gonna go out on the beach. It's not really sunny right now, so we shouldn't get sunburned. Hello, baby! So, how are you doing today? We're going to the beach! That was attractive, I'm sure. Beach! I found this cool snail shell the other day. But apparently there was something in it and it died because so, the bag the whole room smells stinks now. like yeah. fish. Uh, yeah, it's very, fish it's very, angel. it's very, it's very yeah. bad. But it was a cool shell that had like barnacles on it and stuff. But I guess I'll show it to you later. I hope there's no jellyfish. We don't want a repeat of yesterday. Well, I had buried Andrew in the sand, but then he uncovered himself before I could get my phone to record it. And he ran into the ocean to wash off. So, the only proof is the hole that, the hole that he was in. Also, a whole school of fish swam by, um, and they were like jumping down the water like crazy. But, I kicked a fish again. This is like the fifth time I've kicked a fish. I've kicked a lot of fish on this trip. I'm sorry, fish. This is where I had covered Andrew up. Andrew! He's hiding. <laughs> risky, 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 risky. 
they saw a dolphin. But also somebody was fishing for sharks. So was it really a dolphin? Was it really a dolphin if somebody was fishing for sharks? I don't know. We don't know that they're fishing for sharks. It seems like it. Is that a fish? I don't know. We're gonna go see the seedrill nest in the daytime. But it's a different, it's a different one. Because there's more and it might be new-ish. Because if it's as close as my dad's making it out to be, it wasn't there a couple days ago. So, let's go. Beautiful. It's a blobfish. This one's a turtle. Spotted nest in my sights. This is a sea turtle nest. Number 15. We still are not 100% sure what the numbers mean, but basically it just looks like normal sand, so you'd like never know that it was here. Alright, unless I mean you saw it like as it was being laid or whatever. I mean, this has also been here at least a few days, so. Or longer. Yeah. Okay. Sea turtle nest, sea turtle nest. And there's a big one down there. Possibly. Possibly a big one. Or something else. Number two. Number four. My mom thinks they're numbered based on when they were discovered. So like, that would probably mean this one was one of the first ones also laid. Because that's when it was discovered. Which and would here. also mean potentially close to hatching. Yeah. Because nesting season starts May 1st. And it is. June 26th. And they have a about a 60 day incubation period. Ooh, look at the sunset. Yeah. Girl. This one is really big and it has little weird holes. See, there's one. What does this mean? Does anyone know? We just beat the elevator. We have to have a key to get up. I just unlocked the door with the wooden pole because the door doesn't actually lock. But anyway, we just beat the elevator system because you have to unlock it with a key for it to open. So we didn't have a key. So we went into the elevator on the first, like on the ground floor and then had my dad press the button to call us up to the third floor and it worked. <laughs> so. Here's the stinky shell. Something died in it, I guess. So, the people in the condo below us keep coming and like, onto our floor. Cause like the elevator has a key that unlocks the door to each of the condos. And somehow they keep mixing it up and ending, ending up on our floor instead of our floor, which opens right into the kitchen, so. It's kind of weird.